Hello everyone, my name is Nate Lex and welcome back to Xdex. Today I'm going to be teaching you a really fun move called Candy Plane. Now it's a variation of one I've taught before on the Organic Playing Cards channel. Um, it has a little bit of a different variation at the end and it looks a little something like this. Um, I came up with this move a long time ago after, I don't even know, the tumbling of packets to the side was inspired some of the move. And also Acrid by Tobias Levin inspired the ending of it. Um, but also, I want you guys to stick around to the end of this video because today we're going to be picking a winner of the giveaway from uh, two weeks ago now uh, before I left on a trip out west to visit some friends. And without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial for Candy Plane. Alright people, let's jump into the tutorial portion of Candy Plane. Uh, today it's going to, if I look a little bit weird, it's because there's a tripod like right right here and it's in the way of my arm so if this looks a little awkward that is why but that is what candy plane looks like it's a really really fun move to mess with um, and there are only a couple of prerequisites so some of the prerequisites are uh, i believe it's called rev 2 which i have not taught on this channel yet but it looks like that and rev 1 a revolution cut it looks like that i wonder if i can put my arm Oh, I can put my arm through the tripod and it works. Okay, this might be a little weird, but this is way better over the shoulder. Anyway, let's do it like this. <clears throat> so, uh, what you're going to want to do is start in a basically sideways Z grip. So if you guys have learned Z grip from our tutorials, I guess that's also a prerequisite. Um, but this is going to be a sideways Z grip. So you're going to hold it in dealer's grip. Excuse me, burp a little. And you're going to go sideways so the packets are like this and what happens is um, on this side you're going to lift the thumb up so that it's just touching the, the middle like this oh this is so weird to do without the packet there my goodness okay let's figure this out together guys so you're going to lift it up like this what's going to happen is the ring finger and the pinky are going to get out of the way so you're essentially holding up this end with just your middle like this because what happens is you rotate around like this. You hold the packet uh, in this sideways Z grip <clears throat> with your thumb on the, the long side here, your middle finger on this side and lift up like that. And what's gonna happen is you're going to rotate counterclockwise or for people on the other hand, it would be clockwise. And this packet is going to swivel on your hand like this uh, to where underneath here, you're gonna pinch it with your middle and your ring. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting a little scratchy voiced. So you're gonna pinch like this, the packet, and it's gonna turn over. And so essentially this motion that you're doing looks a little something like this. So you're left holding the packet with your middle ring and thumb. Now to do that, when you lift up here, you're gonna pinch now. So essentially this ring finger is going to go underneath here so this packet starts to spin so if you learn a rev 2 cut it just looks a little something like this your middle finger lands on top your ring finger goes underneath and they switch places and the packet rotates over like that so you're essentially doing that but instead of doing it in one hand you're just using your other hand um, like this and it looks really cool um, so you go out to this sideways z grip you move and pivot the card down uh, with your thumb and your middle finger and the ring finger reaches underneath that packet and clips it so that you're in a grip like this then you continue to rotate that around like this your thumb is going to contact this long side here and pull it over and that is how that portion of the flourish is going to end it just looks like that now the cool part is you're going to readjust this packet in your hand while doing a revolution one cut in this hand and we're actually pretty far through the flourish it's actually not that difficult it's a pretty beginner flourish it's just the combination and flow that makes it look so grand um, so what you're going to want to do is after you've dropped this packet over there this readjustment happens where the thumb is going to be on this long side the middle finger is going to be on this long side and they're going to go to their respective corners so the middle finger is going to go up and the thumb is going to go down. I usually use my pinky and my index to grip the bottom and top while these fingers readjust to those corners like you're doing corner grip. So I guess that's another prerequisite. So you grip like this 
and then you reach for that top corner with your index and turn it over. And what happens here is once it completes half a revolution, the ring finger makes contact with it. The middle finger can move from the corner to the top and you're just essentially holding this face up in biddle now. And after you do this revolution cut, you can either, you can rotate essentially holding the, the cards like this and pointing them face forward and then rotating it around. Think of it coming around your wrist doing a little rocking cradle motion and it can rock into the cut and close or you can do the rev cut and lay it on top of the closed rev cut. And that's essentially candy plane. I actually have done a different variation when I've taught this in the past, but this is the variation that I do nowadays that I think is a little comfier and more fun to do. So that is the one I am teaching today. Uh, so I will go over that one more time and then we'll be done. Also, there's a little subtlety I just realized when I do this that makes that look cool. So I'll try to describe that to you. When you're holding it like this, uh, I usually tilt it counterclockwise or for the opposite hand to be clockwise and you go sideways grip and you turn your wrist over while pushing that out to here so pushing gripping it with the corners now putting your ring finger there and moving your index finger out there and then when you do the rev you can rotate it back around a little bit by curling your index finger in to let your ring finger grip it there and then throw it into your flourish and then I can sometimes end with a, a little thumb fan if you guys know how to do it in your opposite hand. Um, but yeah, there's plenty, plenty you can do with this flourish. I'll go over it one more time and then uh, that looks like it's gonna be it. So we'll do that one more time. Left up into that Z grip like this. Uh, sideways Z grip, you're going to rotate that packet around your middle finger. Your ring finger is going to come underneath and clip that packet so that it twirls and rotates on its face. The thumb on this hand is going to continue to push that side down so that this hand can come and close it like that. Then this hand is now in the position to go into this cool rotating move where it regrips to middle finger at the top corner, thumb at the bottom corner, index finger grips that around, pushes and extends underneath it like this, while this hand is doing a rev cut. And then this index finger curls back underneath, ring finger makes contact on the top, this thumb closes that packet. This does the cradle motion, comes underneath your hand and between your biddle, your biddle gripped middle finger, ring finger, thumb, you can rotate on top just like that. And you have just done candy plane. I will do that one more time in slow motion just so you can kind of see what that motion looks like. But I really hope you guys enjoyed um, this tutorial and that you guys enjoyed it. It's a really fun, comfy one to do. I know I've been kind of known to teach more uh, intermediate, not necessarily advanced moves, but uh, I really like them and I hope you guys uh, have loved this and I'll shoot to myself in the outro. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the tutorial for Candy Plane. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't get it, uh, please look over it a couple more times. Also want to give a shout out to my friend Camden, who I met on a trip out west last week. So if you're watching this dude, hope you get to learn a new move. It's really fun and uh, keep practicing. It was really fun to meet you. Um, also, I am going to pick a giveaway winner for the giveaway we did about two videos ago for some Anyone Midnight cards, some uh, a deck of Fontaine Fever Dreams, and a deck of selfless hands and our winner is Jonathan Scold. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know how to pronounce the O with the two uh, periods above it. So I'm going to put that comment up in the video somewhere here and uh, yeah, we'll get those decks out to you. Um, please just give us an email at info at xdex.com and we'll get your details sorted out and get you those decks sent. Um, anyway, guys, I work for xdex playing cards. Um, it usually pops up on the screen, maybe here in the front uh, for xdex.com. Uh, you can follow us at xdex rare cards on instagram that'll pop up here and as always i'd love if you guys subscribed i don't even know why i'm doing these hand motions subscribe to the channel um, it helps us in great ways because it shows your support and it will push our videos out to different people on youtube who are looking for free tutorials so by liking the video commenting and subscribing and all that nonsense um, clicking the notification bell doing all that stuff it just helps other people see it and helps you guys view it next time if you're looking for more tutorials so Thank you so for much. Uh, hello. I'll say something else instead of ending it there. 
As always, we sell decks of rare playing cards on our uh, website. These are included. These are the ones I used in the video today. And you guys can find any of those rare decks on our website. And also we do fun little skits and stuff on our Instagram. So check us out there. Um, I have already said way too much and now I'm rambling on. So thank you guys for putting up with me and I'll see you guys next week in the next tutorial. Bye. Thank you.